All right, so this question is from May, June 2009. We're going to be looking at uh, question one, in fact. Uh, there was only one variant back then. And uh, like with all of these videos, I would uh, encourage you to just pause this for a second and try to attempt it yourself and then watch the video. Anyhow, but let's, uh, let's go on. So in the diagram, the frame is operating uh, at point X on its LRAC curves. And which statement about the frame is correct? Now, what happened was you could clearly um, eliminate A and D. Uh, most people didn't struggle with that because A, it is operating at its optimal level of output. Well, not really. You don't want to produce something ad like this so you can make full use of your economies of scale. Uh, D, it could produce its current level of output at a lower cost. Again, not really. Because uh, this is this is the lowest cost, lowest possible cost. That's what the uh, LRAC curves shows, right? You can't produce uh, output at this particular cost. You can produce it at at this point. You can produce something at point A where you have the same output but at a higher cost. However, you just can't, cannot produce the same output at a lower cost um, with this cur current uh, LRAC curve, right? So A and D were easy to eliminate. Um, the issue was with B and C. So B says it is operating below its cost minimizing level of output and that seems to make sense because the cost minimizing level of output would be this. Um, C said it is productively inefficient, which to some people also made sense because well, uh, productive efficiency is you know at minimum average cost and you're clearly not at minimum average cost so you sh should be productively inefficient. The issue here and the reason why C is wrong, we, we are, uh, the reason why B is right is fine because obviously it's not producing at its uh, cost minimizing level of output. That would be output this this point here C. But the reason why we won't say it is productively inefficient is because you for productive inefficiency you look at the minimum point. Uh, you know minimum point uh, on your short run uh, average cost curve. That's one way to look at it. So. Uh, and the idea behind productive efficiency rather is producing that particular level of output at the lowest cost possible. So if you have this output, produce it at the lowest cost possible. If you have this output, produce it at the lowest cost possible. If you have this output, produce it at the lowest cost possible. Since your SR, LRAC curve is really an envelope of all the uh, short run uh, average cost curves, what you should know is your long run average cost curve, uh, the, the all points on the LRAC curve are either um, below your SR AC curves or equals to. So if you had to look at it like that, your SR AC curves would be something like this, uh, like this. Um, well, they're supposed to be touching my, my bad artistic skills, but something like this. But the point here is the LR AC curve will always be below. You know, it would always be below or equal to the SR AC curves which means at a particular output, uh, the point that the LRAC curve shows you is the minimum uh, cost you can produce that particular output for, which basically leads to the, to the concept that all points on the LRAC curve are productively efficient. So X, is in fact, so if you, if I can just clear up what I just drew here. So X is not productively inefficient. It is in fact productively efficient. If it has been something like this, well, no, this could have been productively inefficient because you're producing that particular output uh, at, you're not producing that output at the minimum possible cost. However, X is showing the minimum possible cost for that particular output. And hence all points on the LRAC are productively efficient. Think of it like uh, in a way like, all points on your PPC are productively efficient, right? So kind of like that. Um, so that was it for this particular question.